uh, direct audit. So first we're going to talk about what's direct audit. I'm going to give you a quick demo. We'll see what are the capabilities. We'll compare session capture versus logging. Uh, we'll see how it's architected and uh, we'll do a little bit of sizing in some of the capabilities. So direct audit is uh, part of uh, the Center 5 for Server Suite is basically uh, the key component of the Enterprise Edition. And unlike uh, Standard Edition that only requires uh, Active Directory and uh, the Center 5 agent, uh, Direct Audit requires a SQL Server database to store information because ultimately it needs a mechanism to store and retrieve information. Uh, without further ado, let's take a look at what Direct Audit is. So uh, direct audit is basically a session capture and replay uh, capability. So what, it, what that does is that if somebody has done uh, something on the Unix machine or, or in a Windows machine, we can easily uh, reproduce what they did. For example, this is the Centrify Audit Analyzer. And in this console here, this is a basic MMC. You can see that you have uh, the objects and the detail on this side. So um, I'm in the today view, so that means I'm gonna see all the sessions from today. I have two sessions. As you can hear, see over here, it tells me the user. This is very important because you keep track of what users do, what computer, what, what was the target computer that they used, uh, the audit store, I'll tell you what that is later, when the session got started, and when it ended. Notice that we have one session here that has not ended, so it's still in progress. And uh, obviously the status and the client that uh, uh, that is coming from. There's many more uh, columns that we can add in here, but uh, uh, this probably is a, a good uh, a good explanation. So uh, the cool thing about Direct Audit is that it allows you to see exactly what the person um, you know did in the system and what was the response to the system. So in in some ways it's still a little, a little bit like a login solution. So in here you can see the sequence of commands that the person did, but unlike logs that only tell you what happened, but you have to still co to correlate it. You can do things like this. You can replay the session, and what's going to happen is that uh, you're going to see the centrified player, and the centrified player basically what it gives us is a DVR view of whatever the user was doing in in that session. So, um, you know, uh, it's actually uh, the best way to look at a, a particular, um, you know, activities of users in context. So um, it, it's important to, to separate the, the capability of session capture and replay versus logging. Logging is, you know, like your standard syslog collection or event log on Windows. But in here, as you can see, you can see exactly what the person typed in, right? Um, and you know, it differs very greatly from you know what a log can give you. So you know, one of the things that you can see in here, my my user was doing some traditional centrify commands, but at a certain point she elevated to root, and you can see that she went and uh, you know did things as root over here. I can fast forward. So over here, I can fast forward. I can rewind. I have the ability to see things in real time or not, but I still have the metadata. So if I'm interested in a particular event that happened in the session, for example, I'm really interested in seeing what happened when the, they, the I to the Etsy password here. So let's go ahead and take a look. I can actually just uh, double click here and uh, go exactly where I want to. And notice uh, that, you know, unlike a log that you actually have to you know, probably get a backup of the file or no, get somebody that knows what the file looked like, restore it and compare it. In here, I can see exactly what the user did. So even the stumbling around. So this is not key logging. This is basically session capture and replay. And in the Unix side, it's tapping to the IO stream. Um, so let's take a look at uh, the same capability is also available on Windows. So same infrastructure. Um, it's possible to do something like this. And you know, customers love this because in, in the Windows world, you know, it, it's really, really hard to correlate what happened. So in here, when I press play, this is really cool. What you see is that you're gonna see on an audited desktop. That's because uh, it, we have the ability to turn on the auditing selectively. So in here, we have a DBA who went into SQL Server. I'm gonna turn off the real-time clock and I'm gonna just fast forward here. So 
you can actually see like a video of what the person did. And we do this in a very efficient way because what we do is we send the pixel changes. We're not seeing, we're not screen scraping or you know capturing screenshots. So that, that makes it very efficient. And when you combine it with the authorization uh, components, we can combine it so only when selected programs as part of a role are launched, the auditing capability is, is actually launched. This makes it very efficient in terms of uh, uh, storage. So I can actually go fast forward you know, and go to the places that I want to um, and see exactly what the person did. Um, I'm gonna go in the past in here. There's a lot of uh, pre-canned queries that you have, for example, in here. I have uh, many machines. I have a Windows 7 machine, for example. If I wanted to see, I have all the sessions that I have recorded here. Uh, I can take a look at the events. Maybe I am uh, puzzled. Okay, I'm interested in looking at, uh, you know, what somebody did in Active Directory using on computers right here. Uh, I could just do replay and it's gonna take me exactly to that point. So the benefit to customers is that they're not stuck with a, like kind of like a VCR where you have to, where you have to kind of, you know, just uh, stay looking at the, at the window. You can go straight to where you want and get the information that you need at any point. Um, because this is all stored in SQL Server, it's uh, easy to just set up triggers so I'm gonna go ahead and go here into Active Directory Users and Computers. So you know you can go straight to to see exactly what the person did. I can fast forward, um, you know, rewind. Also, I can filter. I can go over here and maybe just filter. You know, I'm only interested in Active Directory. So there you go. It's gonna show me all the sessions with Active Directory um, that I, that I see. Um, other capabilities that uh, Direct Audit has, it has a uh, uh, quick query, so I can actually do a uh, query. So for example, here I have a quick query for SQL Plus. So I wanna know all the people who run the SQL Plus command uh, since I started my, my demo environment. So refreshing this query is gonna show me all, all the sessions. So let's take a look at this uh, session here with Diana. And um, there you go, this is the SQL Plus command when it was issued. And I want to know what what she did when when she she ran that command. This is very useful, especially for Oracle, you know, uh, administrators. So let me go ahead and close this guy. And there you go. This is the session with that Diana. And let's just press play. And take the real time clock off. Oh, this is good. She's doing the VI sudoers. I don't think you should do that. But anyway. Uh, I think that you get it. These are the capabilities, session capture and replay. So what is the difference between session capture and replay and traditional logging? This is the difference. I'm in, actually in the system in which I did the VIT password. And if I do a DZ do in this case, because I'm using Centrify and hand sudo and do a tail bar log secure. Um, this is the difference. So. When, when the person actually edited the Etsy password file, I got a syslog that told me VI Etsy password. Hey, somebody launched, and, and this is because they're benefiting from our, uh, you know, our ident identity-based solution. Diana, leveraging rights as root, launched the VI Etsy password command, just like sudo, right? But it doesn't show me the context, right? Same thing with an event log in Windows. You get an event, this happened, but you don't see exactly the context, which is the main difference. So think about it, about Direct Audit as something that you have as an additional capability. It's also really well targeted towards PCI. PCI 10.2.2 says that you shall be able to register what people do with privilege, but you should be able to reproduce it. Direct Audit goes exactly to, to target this particular uh, um, requirement. Direct Audit, Audit also has the ability to capture audit events. So for example, if when, when a privilege is used, um, you can actually see those. Let's see this one's uh, group by user. So today, uh, I was playing with Diana. So if I wanna see uh, the privilege uh, events uh, uh, that came from Diana, I'm just gonna go and find the worth. And it's gonna show me uh, what are the privilege events that were uh, done today. So remember that in, um, in, in, in Centrify, we have PAM, uh, access rights as well as you know centrify and sudo rights so in here you can see the rights as they were they were done so one of them was you know the ability to log in 
Um, this, this is another one uh, when she went into member two, when she was able to use a, a role. So we have the ability to, to do roles and also to you know, go on and see the events of that session right away. Another important capability is that we can see the events that happen in um, a, a report on what happens on, on the Centrify Access Manager um, utility. This is important because when you join a computer to a zone, pretty much you're joining a, a security model. So you may want to audit also what people do in that particular context. So, uh, you know, that report is, is great because it shows you all the activities that people do in that, in that, in that particular uh, context. So uh, this is part of the demo. So let's talk about architecture, right? So um, from an architecture perspective, Direct Auditor is a three-tier system. So let's call uh, this the, the tiers the audited system, and this can be a Unix, Linux, or Windows machine. We cannot audit the X environment or the GUI on Macs. We can do uh, any TTY on Unix, Linux, but also we can do the graphical interface on Windows. And uh, one thing that, that is cool, when, whenever any of the, the upstream components are not available, uh, Direct Audit has this pooler capability that you can designate a certain amount of the drive that is going to be used for uh, auditing in case the upstream components are not available. Then there's the collectors. Collectors are Windows machines that are can be utility servers that you can lay out for multiple purposes. One is security. Collectors are only the ones that can write to the database. So that uh, helps for you know, security concerns. But the other thing has to do with high availability and per performance because collectors are bound to sites. So meaning that you know, uh, when, when a direct audit client is going to look for a collector, it looks at the site to see which is the nearest collector. So that's another benefit that you have already sites laid out in your Active Directory environment. But collectors can be laid out for load balancing and failover. So when a collector goes down, the other computer picks up and you know, makes it for a massively scalable system. Uh, so, and then I bring you to the, to the databases. So you saw probably before the audit stores, right? So audit stores are basically you know, um, collections of audit um, seg uh, you know, pieces that you can have you know, different uh, what are called uh, retention policies. So maybe you have over here, you have finance and finance says, so we're gonna do three months worth of, worth of auditing and maybe operations wants to do six months. And uh, in the back end, um, you know, the auditing capabilities is the consoles. So you have uh, uh, typically uh, the audit console and the administrative console, and those are role-based access uh, control. So ultimately, at the end of the day, it's uh, AD security groups that do those things. So from a, from a client perspective, just to take a quick look, um, uh, Centrify in, in the Unix side provides a lot of uh, CLI tools. So if I want to, just like we do AD info, uh, DZ info, uh, and uh, we have for audit DA info. So that, that tells me, you know, what is what is my audit, uh, my, what is my audit server, you know, what are, what are the, um, you know, what is the site that I'm connected to, and if my user has been audited. On the Windows side, um, it's actually a GUI. So I have it, uh, I have it up right here, and it's. Um, um, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, my member two virtual machine. And this is the control panel, right? So in here, kind of like the same information that you saw in Unix, you can see uh, in here it's cool because you can set the density of colors that you're gonna do, what is the, the spool file for offline and the percentages, and obviously what is the audit store and if it's uh, currently running. So, you know, this is direct audit for you. Uh, see it as, a, as a, an additional capability beyond logs. So don't think about it in terms of logs. That's where you have, you know, your logging capabilities like ArcSight and you know event log uh, and syslog aggregation and even Splunk and guess what we don't do anything proprietary with the database so and also we have an SDK so if you want to write your own applications that leverage direct audit this is also available for you so this has been a quick 15 minute uh, demo introduction to direct audit and I hope that uh, this helps some people around okay so uh, have a great day and uh, stay stay tuned